All right, hey everyone, it's TVC Mario, and you're here for another edition of Christian Biblical Games with TVC. In today's video, we're going to be playing Peter's Fishing Game. We're going to fish for some lost souls together. It's going to be a lot of fun. For those of you just tuning into this video series, I've started a Christian gaming series. We played some Biblical Edition Battleship yesterday. I'll leave that linked up. It was a lot of fun. And we played three trivia games up until today. So this is video number four, game number four. Um, so the reason I'm doing this is because there's a need for this. Gaming is not bad. You know, so many people are like, Mario, you expose everything. You don't have fun. No, we're supposed to have good, wholesome fun. And unfortunately, there's just not a lot of that in the world today. So the pickings are slim. I don't have much games I can choose from. So in fact, if you're a Christian game designer, get on your job, create good biblical games. I'll go ahead and play them on my channel. I'll get them out there. Come on, we gotta get this out to young people. They, they gotta get off the GTA, the Grand Theft Auto. They're literally playing games where they go and mug people, steal cars, kill, go on mobster missions. Like, come on world, wake up, that stuff's garbage. I, I know you think it's cool, but it's not cool, okay? That's just brainwash. But anyways, I won't take too much time. I think it's a clear, clear, obvious thing to most people who tune into this channel that gaming today is uh, just off center. It's just not wholesome. It's not good. But uh, let's go ahead and search out some games out there uh, that are fun and uh, that are good, wholesome, Christian, biblical. All right. So today we're going to get into Peter's fishing game. And uh, I got this from ChristGaming.com. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description section. You can go and check out the games. Um, but as you're going to check out, we need some good games, guys. Um, they're not all that good, to be quite honest, as you're going to see. They're not well developed or anything like that, but they're fun. They're all I can find for now until maybe someone sends me more or I stumble across more. But uh, yeah, so let's play. Peter's fishing game. Now this is according to Matthew chapter 4 verses 18 to 22. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. In verse 19, come follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people, for men, be fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw uh, two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in the boat and with their father Zebedee, preparing their nets. Jesus called them, and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed after him. So the game is based upon when uh, Peter, his brother Andrew, and the others ended up following after Jesus. So this is something that we do as believers we end up following after Christ once we're born again and he calls us to be fishers of men so when you see that Jesus chose the disciples what he was actually showing us here is he's just looking for everyday people to go out and reach the lost the hurt the broken in his name so in essence we all once we're born again become fishers of men we have a duty to go out our lure I guess you could say our bait is the gospel is Jesus dying, the forgiveness that comes uh, through accepting what Jesus did, the free gift of salvation. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get some lost souls. Let's start our fishing game. So I guess you press up and down. Oh, I totally like missed out which ones are worth more. Oh, well, every soul is worth the same in the kingdom of God. There's no such thing as more or less. Each, I don't care if he's two, three points, they deserve the kingdom. Ah! missing some and that's the thing in life you're not gonna get everyone but you gotta try your best evangelize be a light be the salt that they can see so they can come into the kingdom isn't this amazing we're taking in souls to the kingdom of God yeah woo! eternal life salvation here we go guys this is amazing more souls more souls oh I can't some are getting by but it's okay we got it we got a mission here time's running out Okay, let's go. We can't keep fishing forever. The, the time's running out. Let's go. Okay, come on. We got this. We got this, church. Let's go. Work together. Unity. Let's get these. Come on. Lost souls. The entertainment industry is taking them out. Woo! 60 points. Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 through 19. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, 
Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting their net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to be fishers of people. What an amazing thing, guys. We go out and we do this. We save souls. So go out today. Be a fisher of men. Be encouraged. Have fun. Study the Bible and get to know God. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Stay vigilant. Fear no evil.